as a lot of people know, uh, there are many different Turkic languages and some of them are much closer to each other than others. Here we're testing the uh, mutual intelligibility between three of them, right? So there are many, many more and we'll definitely do other videos similar to this in the future. Uh, so we're going to start off first and do introductions. My name is Ismail. Uh, I speak Uyghur, uh, the language mostly uh, speaking in uh, Uyghur autonomous region of China. Hello everyone. My name is Fatima. I was born in Uzbekistan. Um, I speak Uzbek, but I've lived in England for 15 years. Uh, hello guys. Uh, my name is Minif and uh, I'm from Turkey, Istanbul, and I speak Turkish and I'm a physiotherapist. Excellent, thank you. So now let's uh, start off. Kishi yakshisini yekil tu taman. Yaman din azar qil yitar kub ziyan. Tamakur kishiga sen bermek ishin. Vopasiz kishiga yiguzme ishin. It's like uh, hearing your uh, language in the background when you are uh, abroad and approaching to the people and not understanding them fully. Uh, that's basically how it feels. I, I can get a few words uh, that I can understand, but uh, I don't understand the main context around. Kishi yakshisini yakin tuz aman. I think I can hear yakin, uh, which means uh, close, uh, yeah. nearby or something. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, can, can I go once more? And I, I can hear yakshi, but I think I know yakshi through uh, we, we don't use the word, we know the word uh, through Azerbaijan, I think. Like, I, I actually never used the word in my, in my life, but I can, I, I know that it is uh, a Turkish language, a Turkic, a, a, a Turkic word, I'm sorry. Uh, should I continue? Well, uh, so for this sentence, like Fatima, now if you want, you can say, I mean, I yeah. think you probably understood all of it. Yeah, it's very, very close to Uzbek. So, um, can you say the sentence again, please? Uh, Kishi yakshisini yakin tut aman. Kishi yakshisini yakin tut aman. Is that right? Yes. So it's like kishi, people, uh, yakshisini, good. Tut uh, aman, it's like, um, it's like be close to them, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah. Be close to good people, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it's saying like, uh, keep the good people around. Like, mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll continue that. Yeah, sure. Uh, talk about Yaman din hazır kıl yitar köp ziyan. Yaman din, uh, again? Hazır kıl. Hazır kıl. Yitar köp ziyan. Yetar kop zion. It will bring you trouble. Yeah. Like um, bad people will bring you trouble. Yes. Okay. Right. In, in the first sentence, I I uh, I don't know how I didn't understand it, but uh, you said kishi. Kishi is person. Yeah. I, I, I I'm kind of uh, like Bahadur said before. I'm kind of starting to get this. Mm. I think. <laughs> yeah. I think if like if you if you break it down and and say it slowly. Uh, it can, you can probably pick up a lot more, but the first time you hear it and it's really fast, uh, yeah. you're like, okay, I can kind of understand it, but it just sounds so different. Tamakur. Okay. Proceed, please. Shige. Yeah, okay. San Barma. San Barma. Shin. Shin. I think Shin uh, is it Shin. Yeah. Uh, it's. it's in Turkish, Ichin is four. Uh, is that correct? I, no, I think no, it, it sounds the same. same. No, we have the same word. It's Uchun. We say Uchun. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is Ichin. Okay. Ichin, like the literal word in Turkish, would be your job. Ichin. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, yeah, okay. Uh, can, can, can, can we get it one more time? Yeah, yeah. Can I get it one more time? Uh, Tamakur kishige an barma shin. Barma shin. Barma shin. Don't give your job is the ending, but uh, I, I don't know the first part. Tamakur means uh, like uh, somebody who will like uh, brag, like if if you attempt 
if you give them like a job, they will like a, how do you say it? It's like, they will brag about it, like say, like I helped you or something like that. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, what passes? It, yeah. What passes? I think we have to change a few letters here, uh, two letters. In Uzbek, is it Vafosis? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Va Vafosis in Turkish. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What passes? Shiga, Yeguzma, Ishin. Yeah, I got it. Yeguzma, <laughs> Oshing. Yes. Or like, don't, f f basically, don't feed Osh to um, disloyal people, something yeah. like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, it is Osh. Osh is food, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not used very commonly in the modern Turkish, but it is food. It's all right, so we'll do the next one. Um, and then, so you can do the same thing with this, just like read it once and then break it down like slowly sentence by sentence like this. Yep. Paydalıq misradur kişilərə söz. Miras sözni tutsa bulur payda yüz. Dəvətçi kilişkə təyarlıq kirək. Uzun yol Yürüşke, hazırlık gerek. So I will read the first sentence slowly, I guess. Uh, so first one is Paydalık Marastur Kişilerge Söz Kişilere is uh, Kişilerge is I think Kişilere uh, two people. Söz is word. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Correct. What's the first two words? Paydalık uh, miras tur. Paydalık miras tur. Miras tur is, uh, miras is, I think, uh, uh, okay, I, I can't get the English word now. Well, when someone leaves you something uh, after they're dead. Yes. Uh, uh, can oh, you like, tell me the English word? Oh, it's like miras. Yeah. Uh, your will, I okay. guess. Yeah. Okay, I can feel. Yeah, exactly. No. Paydalık. Yeah, paydalık. Marastur. Kişiler gel söz. Is paydalık uh, something like a uh, paydalık uh, goodness or something? Yes. Paydalık. Yeah. Okay. Good, good thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, mirastır kişilere söz. That's the Turkish sentence. İyilik mirastır kişilere söz. And the English version would be the uh, goodness is a, a will to uh, people's words or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's like, uh, oh, actually, I forgot to mention, actually. This is like kind of like a poetic like, form. Yeah. So if you translate, it could be like a, like a, like a from back towards kind of. Exactly. That's how I feel. Like, yeah, it says like a, the... Like words are the best, uh, like a, how do you say it? Words are the best thing to left over, like for the other, the next generation, something like that. That'll go second sentence. That says, Meras sözni tutsa olur payda yüz. Uh, I think it's miras sözünü tutsa if bulur payda yüz if if if the uh, if the will uh, keeps his promise the uh, profit would be one hundred like it like like it's, the profit would be very high that's that's yes uh, yes, yes that's, that's what it is yeah. yes yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Fatima is getting everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, al almost. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I, I'm, I'm making her sound like uh, I don't mean to, but uh, I'm, I'm way too fascinated about being able to understand another language in like 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago. I didn't understand. <laughs> and, and not, so not, not <laughs> it fascinates me. I, I, I'm sorry I'm uh, jumping in, in no, every no. question. I think I think you you're doing like this is amazing because this is not even just like you know just a casual conversation. This is like poetry that you are 
able to translate. So this is like as challenging as it gets. So <laughs> I think I think you're doing amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can read the next sentence. Dabachi Kilishka Tayarlip Kirek. Nabachi. Okay. Uh it's Dabachi. Dabachi. Kilishka Tayarlip Kirek. Gerek is needs something like it needs some gerek. Yeah. I think it's yeah. uh, klishke. Is, is that sort? Klish. Klishke. No. Klish. No. Klish. Klish is to do. <laughs> yeah. To do. Klish. Okay. Klish. All right. To do something. Okay. Okay. Okay. Klish. Klmak. I think it's it's the same yeah. thing. Yes. Yeah. Klmak. Klmak. I I I'm I, I I can hear a Jew there. It's it means someone is like a Jew is I don't know Demirji is a, an Iron Man. It it means someone who is doing a certain job. But I I can hear Jew, but I don't know what Jew. That's yeah. that's yeah. that's where I'm lost. <laughs> it's a Davatchi. Davatchi Kolishka again. Hayarlik Kirek. <laughs> and then was there something after that or after that uzun yol yürüşke hazırlık kerek ah okay uzun yol hazırlık kerek that davacı i don't actually know the meaning it is it like an old word or is it like a common commonly used word it, we use commonly like a, like a pretty common we used often it's it's a it's it's like a may i say it's like it's like a somebody like like someone like doing some kind of thing like action or uh-huh readiness to be prepared yeah to be prepared for the uh, and and then um uh, does it kind of mean like uh, to walk a long path you must um, be willing to walk it uh, I don't know if that's an exact translation but like yeah. you must be willing to walk the long path yes yes a, a, a preparation is needed for the long walk i think yes yes hazırlık hazırlık is like hazırlık is preparation right ready is the preparation kind of similar the last uh, sentence would almost be the same in turkish la uzun yol yürüyüşe hazırlık gerek uzun yolda yürüyüşe hazırlık gerek yeah uzun yolda yürüyüşe hazırlık gerek that's how we would say it yeah yes i understood yes you were going to do the uh Uzbek paragraph now. Um, so this is also from a classic book that any Uzbek viewers um, can try and guess as I'm reading it, but it's pretty easy because it's a classic. Right, um, it's a dialogue between two lovers. So the first is um, the girl. She says, Min sizge hech narsaham hazırlamagan edim. Okay. Uh, uh, not prepared. Yeah. I think like it's, it's it's different in Turkish the endings. So I I, I can't guess uh, what you actually uh, mean. I I, I I get the main idea, but I can't get the yeah, full sentence. You're very close. You're very close. Yeah. Yeah. Like didn't prepare something basically. Yeah. Hitch is uh, not at all like uh, she did not prepare at all for something, but uh, uh, I, I can't get the other word. So I yeah. can't get the sentence. Um, yeah. You actually got it. Um, uh, you should know the previous sentence to know um, what she meant, but she meant a gift. So I, yeah, has, okay. has okay. had a gift. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and then the. the the man says, Hazırlamaganingiz uchun oknasizmi? 
hazırlamaganingiz uchun oknasmi? To be able to be prepared. Uh, something m m <laughs> is a Turkish question, but uh, what m I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't get that part. Maybe Ismail. Maybe Ismail can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's saying what you like uh, regret. You didn't prepare anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So okay. do you regret not um, preparing me something? And then um, the girl pauses. She doesn't say anything. And then the man, the boy, says, Okay, mine is dead back. That's his name, back. Okay, mine is dead back. Sizdan burnarsa sorasam ayamasiz. What's the first word? Um, Okay, mine is dead back. Someone said back, but something said back, but Okumangis is, I, I don't know. Um, I, I think the only word I know that en ends, it ends with giz is Jengis. I think that's, that, that's the only word I know that ends with uh, Jengis. I don't know. Actually, actually, the the back just means back said. Yeah, back, back said, yeah. I can get that part. And, and what's the next sentence, by the way? Can I get the next sentence? Um, Sizdan. It's like a question. So I must ask. Sorsam is uh, if I ask. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ayama is like, a, will you generous enough to just give me or something? Like <laughs> yeah, basically, will you? It's like saying, oh, will you, will you be kind enough to give it yeah. to me? You won't like withhold it. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayama is like ayash means like if you uh, like a, if you keep it like from you yeah. or something, it's like ayash. Like you yeah. storing it, like you don't want to use, you don't want to use it, you don't want to give it away. Exactly. Ayash. So ayama yeah. is like yeah. Uh -huh. If I ask you yeah. for something, you would not withhold. Yeah. And then um, the girl carries on to say, I am my mom. She, she says, I, I won't. <laughs> yeah. okay. And then um, the guy's name, Otabek. Uh, I, maybe I should have introduced uh, the boy and the girl. <laughs> uh, the, um, the boy's name is Otabek. The girl's name is Kumush Bibi. Kumush Bibi. So um, Otabek. Kumush bibining lablari ustidagi qora holiga ishora qilib I'll stop there because it is quite long. Otabek kumush bibining lablari ustidagi qora holiga ishora qilib So uh, he, he, he pointed at something? Uh, uh, no. uh, on her or something? Ishara qilib? You said? Yeah. Not pointed exactly, but very close. Uh, and, and I can say it's it's on top of uh, her somethings. Lab, lab, lab, lab, lab, lab, okay. uh, What's lab, lab, lab? Uh, it's something uh, plural. I, I, I can tell you that much, but I don't know the root word. It's, part of, uh, it's part of your body. <laughs> <laughs> actually, like I that. have... I have the exact same thing that he's um, hinting at. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't get lab doesn't uh, like I, I don't get it. I, I don't get what it is. Is is it arm? Oh, it's like on the face. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's it's it's it's a band like uh, that you have on your uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay, I got it. Yeah, band, yeah. It, it, can, uh, can you go with the whole sentence again? Yeah, sure. Otabek kumush bibining lablari ustidagi qora holiga ishora qilib. Okay, uh, something, uh, there's something black on her uh, ban. Is it that, that that's a Turkish word for it? Uh, hal. What's hal? 
I don't know. It's something I have on my lips, actually. Is that, is that like a birthmark? Or no. Uh, yeah, it can also be a birthmark, but okay. it usually means a beauty spot or a mole. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, kumush bibining lablar ustidagi qora xoliga ishara qilib, shu yerdan bir opish bersangiz, siz ham katta estalik Hazir lagan bolur edinges. That's quite long. <laughs> I forgot already. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll read it slowly. Yeah, so, Ismail, uh, you, you, if I, let's see if like Ismail can pick this one up, because uh -huh. uh, I think there are there are two words in there that are totally different in Turkish. So those are going to be very difficult for. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, just read it again and see. Yes. Yeah. So um, keep in mind that Kumush Bibi hasn't prepared Otebek any gifts. So he says to her, Shu yerdan bir opish besangiz, siz ham katta estalik hazirlagan bolur edingiz. It's like very proper, I think. <laughs> oh, like, I think I didn't get to this chord like a uh, meaning. <laughs> <laughs> I think I missed a few words. So you know shu, shu, shu yerdan. Yes. Uh -huh, shu yerdan. In, in that place. Uh huh. But opish, opish. Opish. Yes, I think. Yes. No? Yes. Okay. That's right. Yes. Okay. So shu yerdan, but opish bear sangis. Sis ham katta estalik hazir lagan bolur edingis. I didn't get the start of the second sentence. Um, siz ham katta estalik hazirlagan bolur edingiz. So you also what's it? estalik? Estalik, estalik. Yeah, I didn't get that one. And then after that, it's saying you will also get it. You would have. You would have, have also. Is I no idea. Is It's like um. Is a gift? Yes. Yes. Ah. Uh, something to remember. Uh, something oh. to cherish. A memorable oh. gift. Yeah, so, like a memorable, unforgettable gift. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We we say we say so what? So it's totally. Yeah, different. we also we also say so uh, but estalik kind of means to remember. Okay. Yeah. So siz ham katta estalik hazirlagan bolur edingiz. Oh yeah, you will also prepare something memorable like a gift. Exactly. So um he uh if you read the book, the previous um paragraphs, previous lines, Otabek had uh, gifted Kumush Bibi a ring. And um, she didn't give him anything. She hadn't prepared him anything. So he's basically flirting back and saying, um, you know, if you give me a kiss from this place, you would also have prepared me an unforgettable gift. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, like what, what I was saying about the, because in Turkish for gift, I think you say hediye or arm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, both of them. Yeah, yeah both of them. That, that's the Turkish one and Hediye Arabic. Uh, so that's why I thought, like, because the gift and the kiss and the lips and the mole, like, those are like the main parts of the sentence, and they're they're like totally different in Turkish. So it would be it'd be very difficult to just like decipher from. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, the last sentence is Kumush Bibi Kazarinde. Yeah, uh, Kumush Bibi got red or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kazarda, <Yeah. laughs> okay. Yeah. That was perfect. That was perfect. So now let's do uh, the Turkish one. And I think this will be very interesting for both of you. Um, so, <laughs> uh, so uh, actually, actually, this is about a uh, uh, anyone who knows uh, something about anything about Istanbul would know Grand Bazaar. This is about a Grand Bazaar shopkeeper. Uh, by a uh, Turkish, uh, uh, how do you say, gourmet uh, about his shop. 
but I had to change some of the sentences and shorten them because uh, their English translations would be like uh, basically a page. That's that's how it would look like. So I broke them down uh, and kind of simplified them. İşini bu kadar iyi ve dürüst yapan bir esnafı saymamak mümkün mü? Wow, okay. I got a few words. Like, yeah. you need to believe? No, I, I, I, I'll break it down for you. İşini, işini, işini uh-huh. bu kadar uh-huh. iyi ve dürüst yapan bir esnafı saymamak mümkün mü? I didn't get this. Is Niafak? Esnaf. Esnaf. I, I, I, I don't think that's a Turkish word. Uh, follow the uh, wow harmony that we have. So uh, Esnaf is a shopkeeper, a small shopkeeper. If you, can say. Okay. If you say shop owner, I'm sorry. And, then so, uh, and what's the next word? Saymamak. Saymamak. Yeah, I didn't get that two word, but I got the rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Saymamak uh, is, I, th- uh, I think you, you, you guys have this word. Saymak is to respect, uh, but uh, it's like to approve of. Uh, respect, uh, it's like respecting a master. Saymak. Like, uh, you wouldn't say that to a person that is uh, younger than you or have less experience than you. Or that. So, uh, that's, that's, that, that's the meaning of the word. Can you say it slowly again? Please? Of course. Thank you. İşini bu kadar iyi ve dürüst yapan bir esnafı saymamak mümkün mü? Okay. Uh, I got it. <laughs> I think uh, for the shopkeeper uh, with good uh, dürüst is like a Like trustworthy, it's like a like. Honest, like trustworthy. A, great, yeah. great. Like, uh, like, also good. He is good, I guess. Good and a trustworthy shopkeeper. He is easy to get the business. Uh, you you are close, I would say. But uh, remember, this is written by a uh, uh, food critic about uh, the shop. So uh, he's praising the uh, Grand Bazaar's masters oh, so in some way. So this is a question about uh, actually how good he is. Oh, okay. That's how I would put it. That makes sense. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you like, have any idea? It's like a rhetorical yes. question. It's it's praising him. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That's that's that's what it is. Yeah. Right. Uh, something. İyi ve dürüst. İyi ve ve dürüst. Aha, iyi ve dürüst. İyi ve dürüst and then yapan bir yapan esnafı bir saymamak esnafı. mümkün mü? So I think it's saying isn't it uh, possible to get the business with good uh, like how do you say like a good business moral character or something? <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, is it possible to not respect a shop owner who yeah, okay. does his job nicely and honestly? Yeah, honestly. Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. it's a rhetorical question about how good he is at his job. Okay. The next sentence would be, uh, Zaten dükkanın önündeki kuyruk da buranın ne kadar çok sevildiğini gösteriyor. Zaten dükkanın önündeki kuyruk da Buranın ne kadar çok sevildiğini gösteriyor. Just go slowly. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll break it down. Okay. Zaten. I, I think I don't know this word. Zaten. Okay. But, Zaten is for the rest. For the rest. Ah, okay. For the rest. For the rest. For the rest. Dükkanın önündeki. Önündeki. Dükkan is shop. Ünün, that is correct. Oh, okay, yeah. Dokanın önündeki, maybe? Kuyruk. Kuyruk is... Dükkanın önündeki kuyruk. Kuyruk is tail. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's actually... Uh, uh, it, it's a Q, too. 
Okay. It's a tail and it's a cue in Turkish. Kuyruk. Like it's, it's, it's, it's, there's a cue to the shot. Kuyruk. Oh, cue. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, zaten dükkanın önündeki kuyruk. For the rest, the line in front of the shop. Oh, okay. Buranın ne kadar çok sevildiğini gösteriyor. Buranın is this. Buranın is this place. The place. Oh, okay. Such a love. Buranın ne kadar çok sevildiğini gösteriyor. Ah, for the rest. Yeah, okay. Okay. For the rest, the line in front of the sh uh, oh, shop display, shows that displays how much it's loved. Popular. Perfect. How popular yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> amazing. Perfect. Usta günde 3-4 çeşit yemek yapıyor ama hakkıyla yapıyor. Usta is the master. Yeah, in that sense, it's a chef, but it's the master. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, master. He's making usta günde every day üç dört çeşit yapıyor. Çeşit ama çeşit yapıyor ama hakkıyla yapıyor. So he makes something, but he doesn't get paid or something. <laughs> I think hakkıyla is a uh, hak is from Arabic I'd say. It's it's it's, it's like, is salary. I'm sorry. <laughs> is salary. I think the word making the confusion is hakkıyla. Hakkıyla. Uh the chef makes or like bakes is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bakes 3 to 4 something. Uh what was the what was that word? The Akhila? Ama hakkıyla yapıyor. Ama hak hakkı hakkı. Ama but on hakkı um <laughs> hak is uh, hakkı would be deserve it like it's deservedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hakkı. That's what I'm saying. Hakkı yeah, yeah. uh, Çeşit is uh, actually like uh, kinds. Çeşit is three or three and four kinds. So what it says is the chef makes three, four kinds of food, but he does them deservedly. Oh, okay. okay. Right. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, no I, I think like if you read the paragraph again, knowing all that, it probably like makes so much more sense. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> once, um, once Melly explained it, now if I read it by myself, I can be like, ah, oh, yeah, of course, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to just quickly read it without like stopping? Of course, of course, of course. İşini bu kadar iyi ve dürüst yapan bir esnafı saymamak mümkün mü? Zaten dükkanın önündeki kuyruk da buranın ne kadar çok sevildiğini gösteriyor. Usta günde 3-4 çeşit yap yemek yapıyor ama hakkıyla yapıyor. Wow. It's, so, it, it feels a lot, it's a lot more clear now, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that's, like, that's another great thing about videos like this is uh, people become a lot more familiar with each other's languages. Whereas, okay. you know, in the past, maybe you think, okay, this is so different. Um, it was as I, uh, it turned out as I thought it would. So... Meli understood a lot more of Uyghur and Uzbek than we did of Turkish, which is a little bit, it shows us up, but um, I guess I'll have to start learning Turkish as well. So, hmm. Yeah, so again, like that was the interesting part about this video, seeing the degree of mutual intelligibility between the languages, because there is, there is a certain degree of uh, mutual intelligibility between all Turkic languages, but some are much higher and some are you know, kind of like diverted away a lot more uh, through the course of time. Uh, either some adopted new words, some stopped using certain words. You know, it, it varies, right? Mm -hmm. This happens with every language, basically, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. But I, but I really enjoyed it. I was yeah. a bit nervous, but I really enjoyed it. It turned out so much better. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I'm, and, and thank you, uh, the three of you, for being a part of this. Uh, as always, whenever I listen to any Turkic language, I can pick up certain words and certain phrases, even if I can't figure out what's going on or figure out what you're saying, but I can definitely pick up a lot of words. 
this, uh, the same thing goes with the Persian to, uh, Persian, to be honest, in, in my experience. Like whenever I watch a Persian video, I see it spoken uh, some, at some place or I hear the Turkish words inside the language that I don't understand. That, that and I don't understand. Times it's the way the word is pronounced, right? Yeah, yeah. So, my, so uh, my daughter wants to come and she learned how to say the colors in Turkish. So she wants <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> to yeah. Let's hear that out. Merhaba. Hello. Teşekkür ederiz. İyi. Sen nasılsın? Hello, Rangara Beku. I'll, I'll ask her in Turkish. She wants to, to be asked in Turkish, I think. Ne renk? Ne renk? Yeah. <laughs> so one day I was asking her, like, what language do you want to learn next? And she, I didn't tell her this. She just said Turkish. <laughs> so, so we, that's wonderful. <laughs> but uh, uh, so Shahzad uh, plays these like uh, like small like lessons, like not a cartoon, but it's like so it shows like the colors and numbers and stuff. And I don't know. Serena seems so interested in it to learn Turkish. Can she maybe like count? Is that easier for her? Or? Uh, yeah, she can. She can do it, but I don't think she would do it now. Yeah. It's like <laughs> even when when when Shazad like tells her and she wants to record, she sees the camera, she stops saying. <laughs> but without the camera, yeah. she do it. If, if if if she wants uh, Turkish friends to uh, conversate with, I uh, I have uh, cousins at Herik, so I I, I can set them up on Zoom. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this was really, really great. Thank you yeah. so much for being a part of it. Uh, like I said, I learned a lot as well, so I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, thank you too. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank, thank you as well. Yeah. My pleasure. My pleasure. Take care. Take care. Oh, guys, take care. Thank Have you. a nice day. Nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too as well. Bye. Bye.